Hi, and welcome back. I'm Jan Herkosh with the Fuelless Generator. Uh, you can find us at fuelessgenerator.net if you're watching this on YouTube. So, quick video here. Um, we are going to be using a DC battery to charge the L1500 in the safest way that I know how. Now, I want you to use your imagination. Um, this could be storage that you have in your garage of deep cycle batteries. We've, I've talked to many people who want extra storage to have some extra battery capacity in the time of need. So uh, having a, a few um, glass mat or lead acid, uh, uh, this is actually a solar uh, deep cycle battery which is perfect for storing energy. Uh, it does need to be trickle charged to keep it uh, up to par, okay? So uh, similar technologies in your car, okay? Just a, it's the same 12 volt source. Um, uh, so you can pretend that this is in your vehicle if that suits your needs uh, because some people uh, want to be able to charge their vehicle or charge their L1500 or other homeless device with, uh, with a battery source. So with that in mind, how we're going to do it is we're going to use the 12 volts from here, whether it's in the car or not. If it's in your car, keep your car out of the garage so you get asphyxiated. Um, keep the hood open, keep the AC, the heat, keep everything off. Um, if it's in the middle of summer, uh, just, you know, we got to keep that hood open, keep the air blowing so that your car doesn't overheat. All right. Um, and then what you're going to do is basically have an inverter. Now, this is an inverter that I, I've tried several inverters. Uh, this one's rated at 1,250 watts, continuous uh, watts. Uh, I've tried smaller ones. They don't work very well. You need at least 1,000 watts of power. Um, so I went to 1,250 because this particular inverter um, with, a, with a decent 12-volt source connected to these alligator clips is going to give you... Uh, a good 900 to 1,000 watts of energy, which we need to charge this quickly, and I'm going to show you why. So how do you use this tool? Well, very simple. The inverter has an output, regular uh, AC out, okay, and then an on and off switch, and this is eventually going to plug right into our, into our L1500 right here, okay? So again, battery, make sure that the polarity is correct. Red is always positive. The inverter is off. Going to connect my negative. You get a little spark, but that's okay. Now, little switch, turn on the inverter. What we have now is power feeding to this cable, okay? Now, if this was in our car vehicle, let's say, so you'd have these connected to your to the positive and negative, I would set the inverter on a towel or something sitting on the hood or somewhere safe on your car, okay? And then you could run a long AC extension cable to plug into this so you could have the car out, out in the driveway uh, somewhere safe for it to, to fume away. And then have just a long 30, 40 foot AC cable running inside your house. So the L1500 actually wouldn't be sitting right here. It could be definitely in your house where you're using the unit. Now, when I take this AC cable, plug it into the AC input, I'm going to be turning the DC to AC, and now we're going to start charging the unit. Now what you're going to see, it's about an hour and eight minutes. This, this machine's pretty drawn down. I was doing some testing on it earlier uh, on our new uh, fitness cycle that's in a different video, uh, which is a modified DC generator, which you may want to watch. It's pretty cool. Um, so now we're charging. Now. When you have AC power coming into the L1500 and you turn on the output section here to pull AC power out of here, what you're going to notice is the unit goes into pass mode. So what's happening in the background is the unit is pulling energy from here or your regular household, charging the battery, but we can pull energy out of this to use while you're charging, okay? So it's in pass, okay? So you could be running your fridge, some light bulbs, cooking some food, whatever you want to do with this, and you're still going to be charging. And this is why we need an inverter that has at least 1,000 watts or more of energy, because if you were using, say, 500 watts here, you could have 400 extra watts charging the battery as quickly as possible. And as you saw when I turned this off, um, this is going to charge up in, less, in about an hour or less, okay? Even if you're drawing some energy out of here in pass mode. Now, if you were just not drawing energy out of this, there's more power here than you'd need to charge this. But some people want to keep using the unit while they're charging it, which makes an awful lot of sense because you've got good real-time power. So this particular inverter, 
I've, I've tried several inverters. Anything under 1,000 watts, even rated at 750, just doesn't get the job done. It doesn't charge quick enough, it doesn't convert the energy enough, and in my opinion, uh, then you're not able to grab some power while you're charging, so it's worth going to a 1,000 watt plus inverter. This is a modified sine wave inverter, knowing that I wouldn't use this inverter to directly power delicate electronics or certain devices will just not run on it very well. The advantage of this is you can get a thousand watts plus for half the price than a pure sine wave inverter. Now, if money is not an object, you may want to upgrade and have this external charging inverter as a, a, a pure sine wave, which then you, you have the best of both worlds. But the purpose of this is really to put energy back into the L1500 as quickly as possible from battery source or a car, and then you have your pure sine wave coming right out of here. And you still have your 12 volts coming out, and you still have your USB. So you can be charging and utilizing that excess energy, because this is gonna be putting out up to 900 watts of energy, okay? Right now, it's probably only using about 350 watts coming out of here to charge the unit. If I plugged a fridge in here, that might pull another couple hundred watts. Uh, given when it's cycling on and off or some light bulbs and whatnot, but I wouldn't pull any more than 500 watts while I'm charging because you want to leave at least 400, 350, 400 watts to charge you up as quickly as humanly possible. So this is just a very simple process for charging the unit and it's extremely safe. Some people think that a good idea might be taking the DC 12 volts and passing it into here with just a modified cable. Now, that will work. However, if you get the, the polarity wrong, you could damage the input section of the, uh, of the, uh, in, uh, the inverter here on the L1500. And if you have too much DC power and amperage, you could actually hurt the charge section. Now, the benefit of using the AC inverter is even though you have 900 watts of available power here easily, up to 1,000, this is only going to, because the, in, the AC input section is extremely intelligent and smart, it's only going to use what it needs and it's going to be able to charge us as quickly as possible. So this is the safest, most effective way to use a battery, whether it's stored in your garage or if this is in your vehicle, to charge the L1500. You really, really should have an inverter if you're going to try this, okay? 1,000 to 1,200 watts minimum to get the job done properly. And this particular inverter will be available on fuelistgenerator.net. Again, I've tried several. This is just the most cost-effective way I've found to charge this unit effectively. So th this is so simple. Anyone can do this, as long as you keep your polarity right here. And most of these won't even turn on if the polarity is reversed. If you were pulling DC out of here into here, it would accept an inverted polarity and would probably immediately destroy the charging section of your unit. So you don't want to do that. This is the safest, fastest, most effective way, cheapest, whatever, however you want to look at it. It's the right way to do this, okay? So that's what this video's been about. You can see that this is just simple, simple, easy peasy, not a problem. And you can see our charge time now is down to an hour. We've had, and it keeps going down. You can see this works really, really well. It's much faster than charging with the solar because you're using AC, okay? Anyway, that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, FuelistGenerator.net. Um, look for other videos up there. There's a lot of information on charging the units, discharging, unpacking, packing um, at FuelistGenerator.net or find us on YouTube. Have a super day. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day. Bye.